In this video, I'm going to solve practice problems on Gibbs free energy. As a quick reminder, here's the formula for Gibbs free energy. But I already made a video on how to use this formula. Now, not in every problem you're going to be able to obtain delta H and delta S for all the reactants and products. But you can still find that delta G for the system if you have other things like what I want to do in this video is show you how to do that when you have the Gibbs free energy for the reactants and products so unlike the previous video we don't involve enthalpy or entropy in this calculation just gives just different values of Gibbs free energy the formula for that is the following we have the delta G for the reaction so we're going to have the whole reaction involved is going to be the sum of the number of moles times the change in Gibbs free energy for the products minus the sum of the number of moles times the Gibbs free energy for the reactants. So it's pretty much the same calculation but instead of enthalpy and entropy we're just using Gibbs free energy values. Now let's solve a problem. Here we have a reaction. So that's why I wrote the Gibbs free energy change for the reaction. And our values are for CaCO3 negative 1128.8. Hydrogen has zero. Water has negative 237.4. CO2 has negative 394.4. And calcium has negative 553. So delta G for the reaction is going to be, we always start with the product. So I'm going to open brackets just to show the difference between products and reactants. And it's one mole of water times negative 237.4 all of this is in kilojoules per mole but because there's not much space I'll write the units at the end so we will get a value of delta G for the reaction in kilojoules because the moles cancel each other now we go to CO2 so that will be one mole times negative 394.4 plus the calcium. We have one mole times negative 553. We close brackets minus open brackets for the reactants we start with CaCO3 see it only has one mole so that will be times negative 1128.8 plus the hydrogen has two moles times zero we can just ignore that And say this is zero. So we calculate that and we'll get that the delta G for the reaction is equal to 55.8 kilojoules. And that would be the answer. So Basically what I wanted to show with this video is that there's one more than one method to obtain the Gibbs free energy for the reaction or the system. This one involved the the case in which you only had the Gibbs free energy for the reactants and products and you didn't have anything with enthalpy and entropy. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.